Well, it's another week where I become increasingly shocked by the amount of people who are snitching, making complaints about their neighbors to the authorities, and where more policies are coming into place that don't seem to make a lot of sense. It's barely even possible at this point to keep up with the number of complaints received across the country about people not uh, properly staying six feet apart from one another, as well as keeping up with the amount of tickets that are being issued. So what are some of the new developments in the sphere of civil liberties vis-a-vis -vis the pandemic? Well, over in Ontario, Toronto Mayor John Tory says he is going to urge the police and bylaw people to start writing more tickets. So if you live in the Toronto area, that's something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. In the Northwest Territories, they have banned all indoor gatherings of any size. They specifically note that that means you're not allowed to hold funerals. And they say no visitors in your household whatsoever. So does that mean they're allowed to go around knocking on your door and uh, checking how many people are in your house and uh, whether those people live in that house or not? Who knows? And over in BC, they have closed all provincial parks across the board, saying in a very scolding manner that they tried to keep them open, but people just weren't maintaining proper social and physical distancing, so they had just had to shut them down. Now, I think this was a very short-sighted decision as part of your overall ability to stay healthy is going outside, getting fresh air, vitamin D, you know, the sunshine vitamin, exercise, and, you know, hiking and walking, it's good for your mental health. And a lot of people don't have backyards, right? So in order to be in an outdoor space, they will have to leave their apartment or townhouse. It's great if you have a big backyard where your kids have their own play structure and a trampoline maybe, and uh, your dogs have space to run around and play fetch, but a lot of people don't have that. So aren't we all kind of asking ourselves, why is it acceptable to stand in a long line outside of Costco or the grocery store or the liquor store, but it's not okay, it's actually banned, to be hiking on a trail where you might quickly walk past a few people? And I think an important counterpoint to the provincial parks closure is, well, now that you've closed all of the provincial parks, now the people who wanted to go to parks will go to regional or city parks, making those more crowded. And then the authorities will say, oh, well now the regional and city parks are too crowded, so we gotta close those up too. Also on Good Friday, a lot of people set out to go to their vacation homes in smaller communities in BC, so perhaps on Vancouver Island or in the Gulf Islands. And one elected official from BC, a member of the BC legislature, he said, Yesterday, ferries to the Sunshine Coast BC were full of people who deserve to live in a dictatorship. The rest of us respect seniors, healthcare workers, and each other. Deserve to live in a dictatorship, hey? Hmm, that, uh, I'm sure that's a totally normal thing for an elected official to say. And people were just bombarding BC Ferries, the ferry company, um, with demands that they shut down their services and, and ban people from boarding. You know, it's so weird to watch. I've said this in some of my previous videos, but I just find it so eerie that people are so compliant right off the bat, and they're so willing to snitch out their neighbors, um, they're willing to be informants, and now we're seeing people who are literally advocating for limits on their own mobility within their own province. And we have a MLA in BC who's part of the NDP who feels totally comfortable saying that people who take a ferry within their own province um, deserve to live in a dictatorship. And sure, free speech, he's allowed to say that, he can tweet that if he wants, but I think it's really a telling comment. It, it really shows their mental processes and how how they think of you and how they think of your rights, how they think of your civil liberties. You know, this is one thing I've been really paying attention to since um, the start of this pandemic is how far are people willing to go with taking away our civil liberties in the name of this virus? And I think it's something we really need to keep an eye on. And so I will keep talking about it as, as long as it's relevant. I'm Lindsay Shepard with True North. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.